As users, we face a daily battle in order to be productive in our work environment. I know, and, and many of you will relate to, that we have to use multiple different applications and services throughout the day. From logging onto my Windows desktops, to my web applications, to my communications tools, my VPN technology, each one of those environments typically requires a different username and a different password for authentication. Difficult for me to remember a single password, let alone multiple passwords throughout the day. And IT amplify this problem even further. They enforce password complexity. They want to increase security within our organizations. They make me change my password periodically, be 30 to 45 days typically within organizations. So remembering one password today is problematic. Remembering multiple passwords is problematic. Having it changed every 30 days or so and adding complexity into the format of the password is, is a huge problem for many users. And what do I end up doing as a user is I'm calling the help desk on a regular basis because I cannot log in to a particular environment. Well, I've used my old password and I managed to get myself into a lockout environment. It's very time consuming for users to do this. It's also a very expensive business for organizations to deal with password related issues. It's a multi-million pound cost to lots of different organizations. And IT is still not happy. They want to add strong authentication into the environment to stop malicious attacks, to stop people reusing passwords or knowing other people's passwords and potentially being malicious, either internal or external to the organization. What does strong auth look like today, typically, for most organizations? is a one-time password type technology. Sometimes it can be a token, it can be a mobile phone application, it could be an SMS that's sent through to your phone. Strong authentication in a token world means something you have won one of the factors and then something you know the pin code as a second factor. This is an expensive solution for lots of enterprise organizations to implement today, but also a necessity. And what we've seen over the years, particularly in mobile phone technology, is now mobile phone technology has inbuilt biometric sensors built in, whether that's for fingerprint recognition, for facial recognition, we've seen some devices with iris recognition. And what this means is now I can use my biometric and that's impossible for me to forget whether it's my fingerprint or my face or my eyes to unlock my phone. And subsequently mobile phone uh, manufacturers allowed you to unlock mobile applications as well. It's very easy, it's very convenient, we know it, we trust it. Biometrics are very difficult to spoof. And at Viridium, we recognize that passwords are a huge challenge to users. They're a huge challenge to IT organizations. They're costly uh, and typically they're, you know, passwords are you know, distrusted to the extent where we have to add a second measure to add levels of security with strong authentication. So at Viridio, I'm going to take the one device that you have with you all day, which is your mobile phone, and use the biometric capability that's built into your mobile phone to do password-free authentication into pretty much anything that challenges you for a username and a password today. So we can eliminate the password. By definition, we have strong authentication. In our instance, the two factors for strong authentication, something I have, the mobile phone, and something I am, the biometric. So I can take the cost of the token technology out of the IT budget. So from a Viridium solution perspective, I can drive down the cost of IT by eliminating passwords and eliminating token technology. I can increase security. Very difficult to spoof your biometrics. And I can also increase productivity and user experience for our users.